Hi everyone, this is Dee. I want to share with you today a file folder that I was inspired to make by Robin Dudley Howes. She did a tutorial on this and I watched it several times and I thought I would attempt it. It is envelopes on the cover. They're alternating. Um, they flip and it's tied together with just a string and then I put Tim Holtz charms on the end of the string. This is a graphite 45 envelope. It's just empty. I think I'm just going to paper clip it on the front. All the envelopes here open on the side and I have journaling cards in them all. So I collaged it front and back. Here's another one. So this one opens this way. Collaged it again. Here's another one with journaling cards. I really enjoyed collaging. It's, I find it kind of interesting. I've got a lot of scraps like everybody else. So this was a great project for that. But I really enjoyed making this one. This is a junk mail envelope. You can see the security blue underneath and um, inside. And then I put book page here so you wouldn't see the blue when the journaling cards come out. So this one flips this way. And again, a journaling card. This one had a window. And I like the scrapbook paper, so I left it whole, or not whole, but a bigger part of it. And then I just slid it in, has the little building in the window, and then I just folded it over. It just creates more journaling space. Collaged. And this is the last one. It's a larger envelope, so of course it goes larger in the back and then it gets smaller. And this scrapbook uh, page or paper was in it. So that's that. This is the center. And this postcard fit here perfectly, so I went ahead and put it in. This is a little stopper um, for this card so that it doesn't go fall out or fall down. It's kind of it's a belly band. So when you close it, again, it just alternates. And then I stick this one here, and then this folds like this. Or not fold. It uh, ties like this. The inside, I have not sewn in the signature. The closure is seam binding. But this is the inside of the file folder. It's a full folder. It's not folded or anything. Just folded in half. So this was scrapbook paper. I uh, edged it in and then I put the scrapbook paper in. And when you sew the signature in, you could have two pockets here or you might want to just close them up. I'm going to leave them. I want the pockets. So that's this. And then I love the front so much that I had to put envelope flips on the side here. It doesn't cause too much bulk because I'm not going to put, uh, put a lot in the signature. So... I just created um, more journaling cards and things. And I think what I like mostly is collaging. So I wanted to do more envelopes. And I have a lot of envelopes. So that was that. And this signature, when I decide, will go in here. And it's right now just paper. This is bleeding tissue. This was a planner. This was a from a financial book. Notebook paper, letter, bleeding tissue, and then I stamped on it with just a round um, lid. Coffee dyed, and I used um, a doily. Ledger paper. This is a maintenance manual from a Boeing 747. Bleeding tissue, but it did it on copy paper, a little bit heavier. A doily, vellum, and this is the center. I love that bleeding tissue. It's so pretty. Here's the Boeing maintenance manual. 
ledger, coffee dye, planner paper, stationery, financials from a planner, bleeding tissue, ledger, and music page. So if you look at this, it's not really that fat. Um, I really like it. Um, it. It needs a closure, I think. Um, it doesn't alligator or anything. So once I decide on the signature, I'll go ahead and sew it in. But I really basically wanted to show you this cover. I really love it. So I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.